Hello everyone, welcome to Max Property Weekly. The breaking news from last week is surely the war happening in Ukraine. The military action has sent an economic shockwave around the world. Global sanctions on Russia has flown on, effects are showing up in financial market. Most notably, despite the exclusion in the sanctions for Russia's energy exports, the oil price soared on Tuesday. Jumping to 107 US dollars a barrel, its highest price since 2014. Key agricultural commodity price, wheat, corn, soybean prices also spiked to its highest level in the best part of a decade. Metal prices, including aluminium, nickel, rose sharply. What do these figures mean to real estate market? Worldwide, the financial market has already developed a serious case of legitimacy. It leads to a dramatic fluctuation in financial market with uncertainty. Pension funds, stocks, cryptocurrency, and all the monetary storage systems have become volatile. These are the primary places that home buyers and investors withdraw funds to make property purchases. What could prove interesting is that the effect could be felt on both the supply and demand side of the residential real estate market. High oil prices will fuel inflation. Inflation slows consumers' demand, will eventually lead to a recession. The reality of war has become disrupted the stock markets. Potential home buyers don't know how much their investments are worth from one day to the next. Interest rates are also in the equation. Less cash for down payments and higher interest rate will lower the demand for the home. Higher cost for construction will slow new construction, which will further reduce the supply side of the equation. The conclusion could be that both supply and demand will shrink in the coming weeks or months. Above other global market analysis, for North Shore property market, people are still buying despite we see fewer listings coming to the market. There is a lack of quality stocks across North Shore. What's your situation of buying and selling dilemma? I would like to hear from you. Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching. i see you next week.